You'll have to forgive me for the way we're sharing the screen here. I wanted to get this lesson up and ready for you as soon as I could. And this was the quickest way I could get that done for you. So we have been focusing so much on this writing process for our boxes and bullets, our personal essay writing. And we've been spending a lot of time talking about how to organize our essay, how to organize our information. So I have shared on my screen here with you an overview of that tree we've been looking at that we've been building ideas into. So a long time ago, we talked about our thesis. And we talked about how when we write a personal narrative, when we write these essays, we have a claim that our whole essay is based on, right? It's a thesis, it's a claim. So the example that I used a while ago and I'm gonna keep using for you is that I love ice cream, right? So we spend time really coming up with that one idea that all of our smaller ideas fall under. So when we talked about the I Love Ice Cream, we then had to back it up with these reasons, this evidence to support, well, why do I love ice cream? Well, there's many different flavors, there are different toppings, and it's refreshing on a hot day. So I have my three supporting reasons. We talked a lot yesterday about how that's great you have reasons, but you need evidence to also support your thinking. And I remember talking to you yesterday about the example with the shoes when I said, we should be able to go out in public without shoes. And that was my thesis and my claim. And you all looked at me and you went, ooh, this crunch, I don't know about that. So then I said, okay, maybe I need to give you a little bit more to show you why I feel this way. So then I shared with you a reason. And I said, I think we should be able to go in public without shoes because shoes make public places dirty and messy, right? So then I listed a reason and you went, eh, I mean, okay, it's still kind of weird, but you were like, I think I need more, Miss Crenshaw. So then I gave you a story as a piece of evidence and I said, okay, I think we should be able to go out in public without shoes because it makes places messy and dirty. For example, one time, I went to Target, and as I walked in, I noticed a bunch of mud and a wet pile on the floor. I said to my mom, somebody's going to get hurt. There's a lot of water on the floor. Sure enough, I watched in fear as I saw an older woman walking past the puddle slip and fall on this pile of, of water. I thought about how if we just took our shoes off to go into Target, maybe all that water wouldn't be on the floor and that woman would have gotten hurt. So now that I had that story to support it, some of you guys were like, "Miss Crunchy, you still sound a little crazy. That example might be a little bit out there, but I can understand your thinking more now that you gave some of these examples. So another way that I can prove my thinking, another way that I can show why I feel the way I do is by making a list as evidence. So let me show you what that means. I'm gonna share with you a draft that William wrote. William's thesis, William's claim, was that his mother works very hard for his family. One of his reasons was that she wakes up early every day. Here's a list that William generated to support all the reasons and all the ways his mother wakes up early every day for his family. She wakes up early every day to put my clothes in order, depending on what activity I have. She wakes up early every day to check my book bag in case I forgot some a book or a sheet. And she wakes up early every day to see what is the temperature, to see if I need a coat. I like that this list is more than just some ideas, but it also has some sentences after explaining why that's important and why his mom is doing that. I also really like that William put in his essay repeating the reason over and over again. Here's why my mom works hard for our family. She wakes up early every day. I'm going to keep reminding you. She's waking up early every day to do these things. This is why it's so important that I'm bringing it up to you. So this is an example of how you can make a list in your own work. Now, I'm also going to connect this to my writing. So here's how I set up my digital journal. I want you to keep in mind that the Google Doc you're working on is kind of like your digital notebook, right? You find that your notebook is filled with flash drafts and ideas. And we're working a little bit more on getting it organized, but you might have things in your Google Doc you're going to take out and delete and change as we get closer and closer to our final draft. So we've already looked at this page where I have my thesis and my claim in that box. And yesterday we worked a lot on talking about how I could write a story. 
for a piece of evidence. I still have some more evidence to support for this reason, but I'm thinking I have a really good list for my second reason. And my second reason is that pressure is an issue to me because I feel it when I'm being active. I was thinking about just saying sports, but then I realized it's not always in sports that I feel this pressure. It's just in all of those activities where I'm moving. And I had a really good list I wanted to put out for this. So I said, for example, I feel pressure when I'm feeling active, working out at my gym. I always feel like I have to run the fastest and lift the heaviest weights. I noticed a spelling error error. I could fix it now, or I could go back in the revision process and change that if I need to. I also feel pressure when I'm being active doing sports. I always have to score as many points as I can or more than everyone else. So notice how I'm just not saying, I feel it in sports. I feel it in basketball or whatever it may be. I'm telling you, like, here's exactly why I feel that way. Then my third thing on my list, I feel pressure during activities where there is a prize. I feel like I did not do my best if I did not win the prize. Oh, good thing I'm going back and rereading this. So notice how I have about three things I'm listing as my reasons, as my list. This is something I want you to engage in today. At this point, you have your boxes and bullets ready. You have your claim, your thesis, and you have three reasons. We've begun the process of getting some evidence in for each reason, but we need three pieces of evidence. So for each reason, you probably need to get a story in for each reason and a list for each reason. That's what I want you to be working on today, getting evidence together to support the reasons for your writing. Happy writing.